Hi, this video is going to be about population genetics and here is a problem. If the forward mutation rate of dominant allele into the recessive allele is five times uh, the reverse mutation rate, what will be the equilibrium frequency of the recessive allele B? And if you know how to solve this problem, uh, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. I already uh, show you how to solve uh, analogous problems with numbers, but uh, this problem uh, can be confusing because we are not given numbers here, but still we can uh, solve this problem and get uh, the frequency as decimal number. So in order to solve this problem, let's uh, analyze the data that we have here. So uh, first of all, uh, let me show the formula that we are going to use. And here's a formula. So um, Q, that stands for the recessive allele A, Q at equilibrium. So Q at equilibrium. would equal to u, and this is forward mutation rate, uh, divided by u plus v. Once again, u forward mutation rate and v backward mutation rate. And uh, in our problem, we are told that uh, forward mutation rate, so forward would be mutation uh, from dominant allele into the uh, recessive allele and this uh, would be five times greater than uh, backward mutation rate. So, And here is a backward mutation rate. So this is going to be just a reverse reaction. And as you see, uh, this particular uh, reaction would be five times uh, greater than uh, reverse. So we can say that u would equal to 5v. And this is going to be v. So the new formula would be q at equilibrium would equal to uh, 5v divided by 5v plus v. And this is going to be a uh, forward mutation rate. This is also going to be forward mutation rate. And this is going to be backward mutation rate. And as you see, here on the top we are going to get 5v divided by 6v. And we can cancel v, so common elements. And what we are going to get here would be 5 over 6. Or as a decimal, this is going to be 0 0.833. And this is going to be our answer. So you can give uh, answer as a fraction or as a decimal number. And you may also ask why uh, uh, mutations rate forward and backward uh, wouldn't be equal and here is the explanation so for example if we have four bases a t and c g adenine and guanine would be two ring uh, bases and cytosine and thymine would be one ring bases and when we have substitution of one purine base with another purine base, uh, this can be adenine, uh, can be substituted with guanine and uh, vice versa. And when we have a substitution of pyrimidine with uh, another pyrimidine, we call such a substitution transition. So transition. And also we may have a transversion, and this would be reaction when we would have substitution 
between uh, one, uh, uh, for example, adenine and cytosine. So two-ring base would be substituted with uh, uh, one ring base, so uh, purine with pyrimidine, we also might have such uh, substitution like this one, so also purine uh, with pyrimidine and vice versa, and we also might have uh, such substitution and such. So as you see, there is twice as many uh, uh, transversion reactions uh, and substitution then transition, so this is going to be a transversion Sub substitution, but um, we would have such a reaction or substitution like this one uh, much more frequent than uh, uh, transversion. So this all this also substitution would happen at much higher rate than when we have um, such substitution where we have uh, one, uh, for example, uh, purine changed with uh, another pyrimidine, and uh, this explains why uh, uh, substitution. Uh, doesn't happen uh, at the same rate forward and backward reactions and also as you remember uh, all the proteins are coded in uh, triplets so it can be uh, three bases for example A, T and T so this is going to be wobble position here so if we change um, one nucleotide here, this wouldn't make, uh, in most of the cases, change of the protein, but if we would uh, replace any of these first two um, nucleotides, uh, this would lead to mutation in the protein sequence. So, uh, we have, uh, as you see, some preferences between uh, some substitutions, so some substitutions happens at much higher rate than the other, and also uh, fitness of the organism with different mutation can be different. For example, if uh, we would have uh, this recessive allele, and this would lead to less um, uh, fitness of the organism than uh, dominant allele, we would have uh, this allele uh, to be eliminated from the gene pool. So generation after generation we may have uh, accumulation of one type of uh, mutation over the another one. And uh, this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video, please write your comments, questions if you have any, and see you in the next video, goodbye.